YouTuber, it's a music channel. I want, I want to start a video section about jazz. And I'll be tweeting, I'll be posting videos about jazz from time to time. Now, this jazz, I call it the corporate jazz. I kind of created it and it's divided into four chords. Now, the first chord is this. Second chord is this. The third chord is this. The fifth chord is this. The sixth progression is this. So okay, so the next is the sixth movement. You have one, two, three, four, six movement. First one, so it sounds like this. show you how it is now for the first chord it's like this your left hand plays your your your, your root notes and your fourth notes now i'm playing on the key of f so your left hand plays your root notes and your fourth notes while your right hand plays your your fourth chord my right hand plays your four six eight and ten four six eight ten just say four six eight three playing so your your left hand is playing your roots and your four your left hand your your right hand is playing your four six eight ten now what happens is that since it's a jazzy kind of it's a swing kind of musical you have to do something you see then you play this together at once Second chord is the second chord is this. Now this chord is made up of um, in your left hand you're playing you're playing your seven you're playing your three seven and your three so which is this seven and three seven and three right on your right hand you're playing your three five three five seven nine. Same method you use in the first one, the other one you use in the second one. Why the third chord is this? Now, this third chord, your left hand is playing your, your three and your six. While your right hand is playing your five, flat seven, flat nine, and ten. 5, flat 7, flat 9, flat 10. This is playing your 4 and your 3 and your 6. So, just the same method. Then, for the 4th for the chord, for the 4th chord, it's this. After this, Fourth chord, your your left hand is playing your six and your two. While your right hand is playing two, four, six, two, four, six, and um, can either play your eight or your nine or this the same. Why? The fifth chord is this. Chord on your left hand, you're just playing, you're just playing, you're just playing one note. The fifth chord on your right, you're just playing one note. Which is this. On your left, you're playing one note, which is your six, which is your five. Why on your left hand, on your right hand, you're playing, you're playing your two, four, five, and eight. Two, four, five, eight. Why here you're playing your five? And you're doing something. Last chord. Last chord is this. Which is um the playing your which is this this is sixth chord. You're playing your um uh, your, your, your 
is your, your five and your eight on your left hand and on your right hand you're playing your three your five and your eight you understand so so now let me sum up all the chord together it sounds like this Classic like this, but uh, you know, when you play jazz piece now, you need to learn how to solo your work on it. So, uh, the time I'll show you how to play and that. Now, for example, now you should, if you want to play, you can like. Um, so you can fly over this jazz piece. but don't forget the rhythm the rhythm is so for your first chord for the first chord of this jazz piece um, you can apply this solo apply if what happens is that this is the chord these are the chords that mix it so you can just flip on it and just play around it now just to show you some few improvisations okay improvising now the first one is um I play Try to make it simple for your level and time, go to complex ones. Then you play. So. You know, this is quite complex for you. Huh? Let me try something else simple. better for you so hey it's something so this goes to the second chord of like that she said the jazz jazz piece so now that is subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so you get more updates about this. Thank you.